nothing. <laughs> Why do you have so many boxed screens? Boxed screens? This one and the small one. One's a computer and one's a phone. Computer? Yeah, you can do anything on it. Like what? Uh, we can look up your history. No, don't do that. Could we fun? We aren't here for fun. We're here for work. Christy, how nice of you to join us. Sorry, I was... <laughs> Never apologize. I'm here now. Yes, you are. And I hope with some good news about Mrs. Smith. Not yet, but... Try to lie. I think she's turning a corner. Be honest. Is this one too much for you to handle? No, I believe I can handle it, sir. I'll keep a better eye on things, Derek. Don't let Pete talk for you. Take charge. Take charge. What did you say? I said how I'm going to take charge of Pete's mistake. Pete's mistake? Yeah. I told Pete last week that Miss Smith was getting cold feet and we could have solved this then, but no. No one listens to me and now we have to bully her into finishing a deal, which I'm sure Pete is fine with since he is a bully. Pete? What is she talking about? I'm talking about how Pete dropped the ball with this one. That's, uh, that's not true. Don't be the fall guy any longer. I'm not going to be your fall guy anymore. I can and will save this account. This has been a very interesting meeting. Christy, I'm going to let you take the lead on this one. And Pete, you and I will have a conversation later. I didn't know I had that in me. With that attitude, you can achieve greatness. Stick with me and we'll go far. You might be right. If I had that Christy with me during Prohibition, maybe I wouldn't have been caught. Caught? Don't worry about that now. When do we take care of this man of yours? Later tonight, I have a Zoom date set up for us. What the hell is this Zoom? Sounds like a drug. It kind of is.